Which is the complete sentence? Where Pete's crayons? Where are Pete's crayons? You can hear it. Which ones makes more sense? Number two makes more sense. Where are Pete's crayons? Remember these little apostrophe S? Pete's crayons. Whose crayons? Pete. So they belong to Pete. Okay. Ned will unpack the boxes. So we have put things in the boxes, take things out of the boxes, or add more things to the boxes. So yesterday we discussed briefly, un means not, okay, not happy. So in this case, we don't have any that say not, but we're not packing. So if we're not packing, we're taking things out of the boxes, okay? We're not gonna add more things, we're not gonna put things in because that's just packing. So unpacking would be to take things out of the box. Susan was unafraid to learn to swim. Remember, un means not. Susan was not afraid to learn to swim. Okay, let's look at our sentence. Where is the girl's coat? Okay, we're gonna start our sentence with a capital letter. Where is the girl's coat? Okay, let's look at girls. We talked about it last week and it's gonna be our thing this week. Whose coat? It's the girl's coat. This does not mean more than one girl. Where is the girl's coat? Okay, so that's gonna have an apostrophe S yes, because the coat belongs to the girl, okay? And it's a question, so we're gonna put a question mark. Let's look at our contractions this week, or today, excuse me. She will, this is gonna become She'll. Now let's look. What two letters did I took out? I took out the W and the I. Okay. And so my apostrophe is going to go right there because that's where I took those letters out. Okay. He will heal. Okay. So today we have family party and penny. Remember our rule. Drop the Y, add I-E-S, okay? So family becomes families. Party becomes parties. Penny becomes pennies. Great job today.